Yo. Yo, it's earthquake report time. September 13th, 2018. Let's look at the earthquakes. So the most recent highlighted earthquake on the map is this 5.0 in Contamina, Peru. Contamana, Peru. Um, and we can see on the map here no major activity as far as large earthquakes go, though a number of fives, um, 5.3 Kermadec Islands, 5.0 Indonesia, as well as some fours here in Japan, 4.4, 4.5. .4, and another 4.5 in Peru as well as some swarming here around Puerto Rico and the Dominican. Okay, let's look at the United States because there seems to be some activity in places that there's not normally activity. Um, Tipton, Tennessee is seeing some activity, I believe. Um, this is like considered New Madrid fault line area, so I had to look that up, but uh, this is here in a part of the country that doesn't see typically in that many earthquakes. So we have a 2.5 in Kansas, 3.1 in Kansas, Harper, Kansas, and Caldwell, Kansas as well as a 2.6 in McCormick, South Carolina. And South Carolina's about to see um, this storm, tropical storm, uh, not tropical storm, Hurricane Florence, but I believe they're already at the moment experiencing tropical storm force winds and effects of the hurricane. So last one here is a 2.9 magnitude north northwest of Pinnacles, California. All right, let's see. Also, north and south Alaska seeing swarming, but um, nothing major again. Also, a 4.3 in Iran and a 4.6 in. Ash Kasham, Afghanistan, but that could be Ash Kasham. Anyway, gotta catch all these earthquakes. Okay, there was unconfirmed reports of a felt repent of a felt event in Lombok region, Indonesia. Um Let's see, that's the 5.0 in Peru. I believe this is Golfito, Costa Rica, 4.6. Let's look at what it says. I've seen some activity. Felt a slight shaking. I felt it. So, doesn't seem too much to report as far as felt reports go. Uh, we'll look at the this one on Gimpa. So Peru. And I believe this is where it was registered at on USGS. So that was the five point oh. Alright. Nothing really much to bring up. Most highlighted is the five point two near Kermadec Islands, I think it was 5.3 USGS. Um, <laughs> so, this one, there's a 5.2, <laughs> seven kilometers from De Gaulle, Badakhshan, Afghanistan. If De Gaulle is to Keshamal, yeah. Okay, so let's look at the depth. 
Um, the ones in South America are yellow, so a little deeper as far as um, as compared to in you know, the green and purple in depth. Okay, so nothing new since the 2.2 magnitude in East Shomron region, Israel on the 10th. Uh, you got some volcanoes pumping out ash, some eruptions. Let's look if anything's happening. Sakurajima was just putting out a little something. And Stromboli, uh, as usual, is doing its like uh, smoking, puffing, steam. Sometimes it'll shoot lava chunks out. <laughs> and you can see some stuff looking like it's um, wanting to eject out of Sacrodrima. So, uh, again, I'll tell you that they're not asleep completely. They're just seemingly sitting at the ready. Okay, let's look at... This is, again, Hokkaido, I think, as it stabilizes after the earthquakes happen in, that happened a few weeks ago. Like a week ago. And you can see that it's registering some act Activity 3.8 that happened 10.54 on the 14th I guess it's no <laughs> it's, it's very hard to read uh, this setup as, compo as compared to a lot of the other um, <laughs> data data sets <laughs> but uh it does look like it's saying that there's a 3.892 earthquake, 80 kilometers deep somewhere. Okay, <laughs> let's look at Hurricane Florence. There's this massive storm barreling down on the United States, but even more massive is there's a an even larger storm headed towards the Philippines and China and <laughs> so it's uh, seemingly <laughs> uh, is reflecting what I've been posting here on my Twitter as far as storms go so you can see here super super typhoon Mankut or Ompong um, towards Philippines and China and you can look here as far as This goes, there's just so much because it's such a large hurricane, or it's going to affect a lot of people, so, or a lot of things and a lot of people, so, a lot of media has been put out about it, as well as, you can see this where I made this video about September weather, I believe this is directly linked to this, and that people are going to start seeing way more intense weather absolutely massive increases in the scale and size of these events as well as massive increases in the earthquake events and massive increases in basically all these kind of events um, letting you know that you should be listening to the point of logic and reason and you can see here it's uh, ejecting some stuff. 
Okay, so that's my thought on that. Let's look at the Earthquake 3D and see if we can pull anything interesting out of this. The quakes here in South America, again, you can see they're a little pulled up, more pulled up than most things, but not as pulled up as Fiji things. And same here. And And you got, <laughs> oh. I guess as there's maybe quake activity and or some sort of underground movement that was just registered, you can see that Sakurajima is simultaneously ejecting or emitting stuff, so that you can tell when there's activity in one place in the world it's actually felt and affects stuff in other places and that live you can see how like when there's movement you see it ring off on different seismograms okay and so again you can see some stuff ejecting out of there let's look back at 3d real fast um, still a little bit of activity here in Hawaii. The several across the United States. Some swarming here. Alright, well, I think that's it. I definitely believe these events are going to continue to pick up and it's going to get to a point where there's no, de not just no denying what I'm saying, but no uh, fighting it in the sense of <laughs> uh, participating in things to perpetuate it. Like, it just is literally going to be impossible. So, um, we're moving pretty quickly towards this point. Uh, from the book of Revelation that I've been talking about, I would listen to my videos and stay awake and aware. And let's see, hold on. So, that's it. That's all. That's all the earthquake report for today. We'll check one more thing 4.2 in Prudhoe Bay, Alaska rad all right well <laughs> have a blessed day yeah